afternoon, everybody. We continue with our Taking Action for Your Parents campaign. We're wrapping up with week two with a focus on financial planning. This week, consumer investigator Jackie Calloway has been reporting on reverse mortgages, the latest financial scams targeting seniors, and how to avoid it. All those special reports are posted to our campaign page, abcactionnews.com slash your parents. And joining us in the studio with more, we want to welcome Mr. Robert Harwood, who is the CEO and founder of the Harwood Financial Group. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for inviting me in. What would you say is the most difficult part of having a conversation with your aging parents about money? You know, and the most difficult planning? thing, they don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you know, that generation was very private. Mm -hmm. They weren't money driven, they're value driven, they're family values and ethical values, and they don't want to focus in on money. But the conversation is very important because someday they're going to need help and you want to be able to help your parents with their finances if you need to, mm -hmm. but it is difficult to have that conversation. What are some of the things that a, a, a daughter or son can do to kind of ease into it? I, I think the first conversation maybe um, is about how you'll inherit that money. I don't mean that in a bad way, but okay. have your parents created a trust or a will because they're going to be more up and talking about what they've done for you mm. than what they have. So start with the estate planning. Mom, Dad, I just want to be aware of what you've done to take care of your needs, your final needs, and what your wishes are should something happen to you. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure they have a power of attorney in place, okay. their health care directives, and all these things are important. That starts the conversation. It's not really money. It's about care. Right. And you can transition from care and then talk about their finances and say, Mom, I'm here to help you if you need me. Mm -hmm. um, just know that I'm here for you. What about the investments? The rate of investment, the risks are and, different yeah. when you're younger. W what happens, what you sh which do you consider when you're eight? And, and that's a real problem in today's market because it's kind of volatile, a little emotional, the stock market right now, and everyone's investing differently. As we get older, we should always be safer with our money. Uh, it's not about hitting home runs. It's about maybe base hits. It's about having the money we need to live on. And remember, our parents' biggest concern is not being a burden to their children, right? Mm -hmm. That's what they're worried about. So what you want to do is you want to make sure they're investing in a way that's healthy for them. And as we get older, sometimes we have more trouble with numbers and dollars and money. It gets mm -hmm. a little confusing for us. But we're not aware of that as older adults. So you have to be very gentle in this conversation. Yeah. But there's a lot of things we can do to help guide our parents, be sounding boards for our parents, and be aware of their finances. In our firm, with our clients, mm -hmm. uh, we bring the children into the conversation if the parents will allow it. Right, without because being disrespectful, but exactly. that way everybody gets the information. What is the most important thing that you believe the adult child um, taking care of his parents, his or her parents, should consider when they're trying to get everything in the f in financial in order. order? The first and most important thing that gets overlooked, power of attorney. If your parents cannot help you, I'm sorry, you can't, you know, if they can't help themselves right. and you need to pitch and help them, you need a power of attorney and you have to know what their wishes are. If, if they can't speak for themselves, if they're incapacitated for any reason, mm -hmm. what would they want you to do? And that's such an important piece to talk to them about. And then you want to be able to assist them with their finances as well, so you need to be aware of their financial situation. Well, thank you for coming in. It's so Oh, nice it's to my meet pleasure. You. Thank you if very much. If you would like to learn more about financial planning and our Taking Action for Your Parents campaign, here's the number for Harwood Financial Group if you have additional questions, 727-524-1427. And you can also visit them online at harwoodfinancialgroup.com. Thanks for watching, everybody.